Here we go, it's Joel, Traveling New here, and welcome back to quite a last minute decision video. Early this morning, at 1am British time, a statement was released by Fenix Simulations. Now, if you don't know who Fenix are, they are a new name to the flight simulator development community. And in July 2021, they announced they'll be making a high detail Airbus A320 for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now, when this was first announced, I was quite sceptical about it. You know, the only add-ons we had at that time really were the Aerosoft CRJ series and the Captain Sim 777. The Aerosoft CRJ was okay and it was a pretty high detailed aircraft but I didn't buy it but several people said that the flight model was the same as the default MSFS one which is quite uh, which is known to be quite bad and the Captain Sim 777 well that was just awful and I'm sure a lot of you know about that aircraft. But after seeing one YouTube preview on this aircraft on the Fennec Simulations channel, I knew that something special was going to be at released. This aircraft is probably one of the most in-depth aircraft I have seen for Flight Simulation, and the most in-depth aircraft I have seen for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. An add-on I would compare this aircraft to is the FSS is the FS Lab series for P3D, which is one of the which is a very, very detailed aircraft and probably the best we have in Flight Simulation right now. The price of the FS Labs, however, is quite steep, and the base cost is about £120, and you have to spend uh, a lot of money on more extensions for the aircraft, such as the Sharklets or the EFB. And that is about the pricing I expected for the Fenix Sim, to be honest. With this amount of detail, similar to the FS Labs, I expected a pretty similar price. So with pricing in mind, let's move on to what was released in the statement. The first thing the statement said is that the aircraft is no longer in its beta stage, which means pretty much all of the early pre-release testing has been completed. And we are very close to release. It also went in depth about the features that this aircraft will have, such as the in-depth ACAR system, which allows you to talk to ATC through the computers, meaning you don't actually have to do any speaking. It also went into the immense detail that will be in this plane, such as the passenger boarding system, the company system, the cabin, which looks absolutely amazing. You can see the screenshots on screen right now. It is so amazing. The cockpit is in amazing detail. There are some things that I've not even heard of that the developers have put in, which I find just beyond amazing. And it's just as incredible, if not more incredible than I expected. And I'm, I'm so excited about this plane, really. And at the bottom of this statement, after all of these amazing things were announced, Announced, the price was announced and I told you what I was expecting at least at most a three-digit number at least 80 pounds my guess but more likely to be a three-digit number just based on the high detail of this aircraft but I'm very happy to say that I was completely wrong the price of this aircraft is going to be 49 pounds and 99 pence which is a really low price for something like this this converts to 61 US dollars or 58 euros in fact, it was just last week that we saw the PMDG 737, which is a amazing add-on that's already been around for Microsoft Flight Simulator X and Prepare 3D. And they have pretty much all variants of the 737 that are in progress for Microsoft Flight Simulator. However, last week we saw release of just the 737-700. The price of the PMDG 737 is $70, which is just for one variant, just the 700 variant. So you will be charged for each variant, which to me was quite expensive, but I might still find myself buying one of the variants, which one I decide is more appropriate, possibly the 737-800. However, I didn't really want to spend money on this add-on because currently my main simulator is X-Plane 11, and we have the Level Up series, which consists of the 700, 800, 900, 600, 900 ER, and the Zebo, which is just the 737800, but I prefer the Zebo 737 to the level up 737. However, we have all these aircraft in X Plane completely free, so to me, buying another 737 for another simulator just made no sense. We also saw the release of the new Leonardo MD80, which cost $93, and the just like BAE 146, which costs $61. So as you can see, the Fenix comes in at a really good price compared to these add-ons, and especially because of the immense detail that this add-on has, which we have not seen in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 yet. Now, they haven't said a release date in the statement, but there are some estimates that it's going to be this month, May. And that's really, really exciting, because that's really close, and I just cannot wait to step inside this aircraft and fly it around the virtual skies. So to any Airbus lovers or Microsoft Flight Simulator 20 20 users, this is the most exciting thing yet. 
especially for me. And in fact, I'm an X-Plane user. I've used X-Plane all of my simulation. Occasionally, I go to Microsoft Flight Simulator, fly the fly-by-wire 3, 2, and X. But right now, in fact, on my desktop right now, I'm flying a plane in X-Plane 11. But this add-on has actually made me reconsider, and I think I'm going to start buying more planes and more sceneries and more add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I might find myself using it more and more. Yeah, and that's the end of this short news video that I've uploaded very, very last minute as I literally just saw the statement about 10 minutes ago. I was very late to jump on it. If you'd like to see more of these little news videos that I upload at random times, not according to my once a weekend schedule, then please do let me know in the comments and like, like and subscribe. It really does help me out. We're getting closer and closer to 1,000 subscribers. We sit at 800, which is a great number, but that 1,000 mark is my goal and has been since I started YouTube. So if you are new around here, please hit that subscribe button it takes you one click but helps me out immensely hit that subscribe button make sure to check out the blog check out the blog and i'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching and have a great day